Ever pondered the possibility of an orphan boy dreaming up a world-renowned brand? Well, buckle up because reality is often stranger than fiction. Our story begins with a boy named Hans Wilsdorf, born in the late 19th century in Bavaria, Germany. Now Hans wasn't your typical Bavarian boy. His parents passed away when he was just 12, leaving him and his younger brother in the care of an aunt. Talk about a tough break, right? Yet it was from this unlikely beginning that Hans would eventually rise like a phoenix from the ashes to redefine the world of horology. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, back to our young Hans. Picture him, if you will, a scrawny lad with a head full of dreams and a heart full of determination. He found solace in the ticking hands of clocks, the rhythmic pulse of seconds passing by. There was something about the intricate dance of gears and springs, the silent conversation of time that fascinated him. It was more than a fascination, it was an obsession. He was the kind of kid who would take apart a clock just to see how it ticked and then put it back together. As a teenager, he moved to Switzerland, the land of cheese, chocolate, and most importantly, clocks. There he landed a job with a major watch company, humble beginnings indeed. But then again, aren't the most epic tales often rooted in humble beginnings? Now you might be wondering, how does a penniless orphan boy go from tinkering with clocks to creating one of the world's most luxurious watch brands? Well, dear listener, that's the million dollar question. Or should we say, the multi-billion dollar question? What was it about this boy that set him apart? Was it his relentless spirit, his unwavering devotion to his craft? Or was it simply a stroke of fate? We'll get to all that. For now, let's marinate in the mystery of it all. After all, every great story needs a dash of suspense, doesn't it? So an orphan boy, an unfulfilled dream, what could possibly go wrong or right? Imagine a young boy with nothing but a pocket full of dreams and a heart full of courage. This was Hans Wilsdorf, a name that would soon become a legend in the world of timekeeping. Hans was orphaned at an early age, left with nothing but an unyielding spirit and a burning desire to make something of himself. His journey began with a daring move to London, a city bustling with opportunity and innovation. The bustling city streets were a stark contrast to his humble beginnings, but Hans was not deterred. He was a dreamer, yes, but he was also a doer, Life in London was not easy, however. Hans faced numerous challenges, from the mundane struggles of daily survival to the daunting task of establishing himself in a foreign land. But Hans was not one to back down from a challenge. He took everything in stride, his spirit unbroken, his resolve unshaken. His fascination with timepieces had always been a constant in his life, a passion that was only intensified by the bustling city life. He began to immerse himself in the world of horology, studying the intricacies of the craft with an unwavering dedication. He was a quick learner, his sharp mind absorbing the knowledge like a sponge. Despite the odds, Hans decided to start his own company. Many thought he was mad, a young orphan boy trying to make it in the cutthroat world of timepiece manufacturing. But Hans was not just any boy. He was a dreamer, a doer, a believer. And so, with a heart full of courage and a pocket full of dreams, he embarked on his journey. He faced numerous setbacks, each one a blow to his dreams. But with every setback, Hans only grew stronger. His determination was unwavering, his will unyielding. Each failure was a stepping stone, each obstacle a challenge to be overcome. With a dash of audacity and a sprinkle of insanity, the stage was set for something extraordinary, or was it? Only time would tell if this audacious dream of a young orphan boy would come to fruition. But one thing was certain, Hans Wilsdorf was not one to give up. In the world of horology, where time is money, our young lad was about to shake things up. Hans Wilsdorf, an orphan boy with a dream, was on the verge of creating something extraordinary. But what to call this marvel of mechanics and design? The answer, as it turns out, came in a dream. A dream where the word Rolex echoed in his mind. It was catchy, easy to pronounce in multiple languages, and, most importantly, it fit perfectly on the face of a watch. But as we all know, birthing a brand isn't as simple as naming it. No, no, there were obstacles. The biggest one? Convincing the Swiss watchmaking industry, a community as tightly wound as their own mainsprings, that this youngster had something worthwhile to bring to the table. Hans, however, had a trick up his sleeve. He was no stranger to adversity. Remember, he was an orphan, and life hadn't exactly dealt him a royal flush. But he did have a pair of aces. Determination and innovation. He knew he had something special. His watches didn't just tell time, they were reliable, they were stylish, they were... 
well, they were Rolex. But the Swiss watchmaking industry, they were like a stubborn old grandfather clock, stuck in their ways, resistant to the tick-tock of change. So what did our young lad do? He did what any innovator does when faced with a wall of doubt. He used it as a stepping stone. He worked harder, refined his designs, and proved his doubters wrong. And then one day, it happened. The Swiss watchmaking industry, once skeptical, now stood in awe of the Rolex. The Rolex, a watch born out of an orphan's dream, a testament to the power of resilience and innovation. So there it was, Rolex, a name destined for greatness, or so our young lad hoped. From the depths of despair to the pinnacle of luxury, the journey of Rolex is nothing less than a roller coaster ride. In the world of horology, Rolex has become synonymous with luxury and precision. But let's not forget, this titan of timekeeping had rather humble beginnings. The dream of an orphan boy, Hans Wilsdorf, blossomed into a reality that has not only withstood the test of time, but has also defined it. As Rolex grew, so did its reputation. It's not just a watch brand anymore, it's a status symbol, a mark of success. It's like the universe conspired to make Hans's dream a reality, and what a grand reality it turned out to be. But don't let the glitz and glamour fool you. The heart of Rolex is still that of a dreamer. It's the spirit of innovation, the unyielding pursuit of precision that makes a Rolex, well, a Rolex. Rolex watches have graced the wrists of explorers, braving the highest peaks and diving into the deepest ocean trenches. They've been a part of history, ticking faithfully on the wrists of leaders and visionaries. And let's not forget, they've also added that extra dash of suave to secret agents saving the world, one ticking second at a time. But Rolex's legacy doesn't stop at making phenomenally accurate watches. The brand's commitment to excellence has also led to the Rolex Awards for Enterprise, honoring individuals with groundbreaking projects that aim to make the world a better place. So you see, the Rolex we know today is a far cry from the small London watchmaker it started as, but it still carries the same spirit of resilience and innovation. In the end, the story of Rolex is a testament to the power of dreams. It's a story of how a simple timepiece can become a symbol of success, of how an orphan boy's dream can redefine an entire industry. And that, my friends, is the story of how an orphan boy created Rolex, a brand that would go on to redefine time itself.